mine everyone once again from the island of Simi in Greece so today we're hoping that we're gonna be doing a boat tour we arranged it with them yesterday but they said because of the bad weather lately they don't know if it's gonna leave so right now it's around 10 a.m. there are some blue skies but also kind of cloudy there were thunderstorms on the last few days so for the weather I think we're fine but there's also a minimum amount of people that need to do the boat tour for it to leave so we have to see if other people want to do the tour as well all right it's looking good mm -hmm. there's people inside the boat so i think we're leaving yeah i can see people on the boat it's these guys here poseidon that's the name of the tour hello it's leaving today yes of course today's good yeah okay yeah, yeah. we okay. pay now yes please okay it's 50 yeah 50 per person arrived at stop number one it's a little island here called Saint Emilianos has a little monastery water looks incredible here it's kind of an island I mean they got like a little man-made pathway to the mainland here but it's still an island I guess so we're gonna visit the monastery now the color looks so beautiful yeah, it looks really nice but it's a bit too cold still, isn't it? Yeah, the wind is not healthy, so I'm not sure when we're gonna swim. Yeah, we'll swim at some point. Right now it's around like 19, 20 degrees, but with the wind, it feels a lot colder. man-made pathway to the mainland I wonder why they have the pathway to the mainland yeah I don't know <laughs> I, maybe they need it to ah because it's connected to the to the rest of the island ah you think there's a road here maybe there's another church there ah back there maybe that's why I don't know you can see here that there's loads of sea urchins I haven't seen many sea urchins around Greece so far those are definitely sea urchins though. Yeah, big ones. <laughs> so there's always a cute little church right in the middle. The guys on the boat said it's 200 years old. And they have a little leaflet that says that it was made by the money given from sponge divers. The skipper had a vision of Saint Emiliano. continue with our day we're going to talk about the sponsor of this video Surfshark which is our recommended VPN provider that we've been using for almost three years now. If you are a digital nomad or a traveler like us you know how risky it can be to frequently use public Wi-Fi. But Surfshark allows us to have a private connection keeping our personal information and sensitive data safe from potential hackers. Using Surfshark also allows us to access all Netflix libraries. Depending on the country that we are in, we might only have access to limited series and films. But with Surfshark we can set our device to any location and watch all the Netflix titles that we want. 
Besides that, we also use Surfshark to bypass internet restrictions and unlock web pages while visiting countries that block specific websites. We only need one single Surfshark account for the both of us for all our devices because with just one single Surfshark subscription, you can connect to unlimited devices for your entire household. Click on the link in the video description which has the discount code Jumping Places to get 3 months for free and that also includes a 30 day money back guarantee. So we already have some snacks here, it's like a salami and cheese with bread, you can have some juice. This isn't the main lunch by the way, that'll be later, coffee. Mm -hmm. There's also wine, ozu. Yeah, you can already have wine, some alcohol. Too early for that. Yeah, right now. And they're making some tea for me. Got some nice biscuits too. So we're now at stop number two. Pretty close to the last stop. It's Seal Cave. Because there's a seal in there sometimes. The cave over there. And yeah, we might go for a swim. What do you think at this spot? Maybe we go and come back quick. <laughs> yeah, because there's no wind here. Yeah, maybe we do that. <laughs> Once again, the water is absolutely amazing here. The rocky island. Icy cold? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the water is definitely colder now after the storms the last few days. It had warmed up quite a bit the last uh, days before then. All right, into the cave we go. Oh wow, the, the cave is actually quite big. It's a big cave. Yeah. Can you, can you stand up? Yeah, just be careful with the sea urchins. Okay. <laughs> no signs of the seal. No, I don't think it's here. Yeah, the leaflet said it's called Mr. Alex. Alex, he's gone. Alex! Yeah. Alex! <laughs> Almost like a little beach there. Yeah, there's a beach. Do you yeah. want to walk there? Yeah, let's go there. Yeah, pretty cool house for a seal. Mr. Alex the seal. Alright, let's get back to the boat. <laughs> come to a beach area called Kupi Bay, our first beach of the trip. Yeah, it looks beautiful, the water and the scenery. Yeah, really nice surrounding. So I think we're going to be visiting like two other beaches, so three overall. <laughs> Deserted beach. Yeah, Ooh, there's some goats over there. Really? Oh, under the tree? Yeah. yeah, goats everywhere. So I did mention in the previous video, our first video in Simi, that a lot of the best beaches on the island can only be accessed by boat, like this one. So I think all the ones that we're gonna be visiting today, maybe can only access by boat. No roads or trails. now yeah now I'm cold <laughs> just because of the wind when there's no wind it's all good so we are now heading to the food stop 
which I think it will be a few hours. Yeah, two and a half hours. At the next stop. Yeah. Yeah, so far these other little ones are just like 30 minutes. Quick little stops. So this is Sescli. It's actually a separate island. I didn't realize that we were coming to a separate island today. And the island has a cat. What are you doing here, island cat? Yeah, so as Carol mentioned before, we got over two hours here, two and a half hours, having lunch on these benches. Yeah, we can just relax, swim. We'll find a nice place. So it is more of a pebbly beach once again. There are some sandy parts though. Kind of a mix. The water on this tour though is definitely better than the, the beaches that we saw around Simi, the main harbour. It's a lot nicer. Probably not the best island overall for beaches though, is it? Uh, no, Simi. It's still beautiful, but from all the, the islands that we visited, it's not the best one, like you said. Yeah, I think mainly just because it's like a, a giant rock the island so there isn't actually that many beaches since we've been going around the coast on the boat majority of the time it's just rock coming out of the water no beaches at all that little church over there oh, yeah. <laughs> it's always a church yeah even in the middle of nowhere there's usually a church in greece Lunch is looking good. Oh, yeah. The buffet. <laughs> so the food selection was amazing. I got this kind of yellow rice with lots of vegetables, lots of bread, the sour yogurt dip for the bread and uh, four drumsticks chicken yours looks healthier than mine mm, yeah i love beetroot and these big beans which i've i've eaten before here in greece the tour has been really good for the value that we paid yeah and uh, also got the uh, white wine yeah i just got water the tour that we did in Rhodes that was fail was like 40 euros more expensive per person. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have all these options, so this one is way better. <laughs> yeah, way better. The food there was super basic. <laughs> oh no, there's more coming back there. <laughs> oh, they all want the buffet. on this one feeling pretty stuffed now from all that food 
And we come to that little church that we could see before. Is that a house back there? Maybe. I think someone does live here because oh, you yeah, can there's see. Something there. Yeah, there's like a quad bike here. There's farmland too. Completely dry though. Maybe it's not the season right now for farming. What is this as well? Yeah, they're building something here. Ah, maybe they're building a, another church. Looks like it. Yeah, you can see the the cross there. Maybe this is the altar. The altar. Mm -hmm. Because of all the people that live here, they needed to make a another bigger, church. A bigger church. That one wasn't enough. <laughs> it's just way too crowded around here. So you can see here, there's all these like tires. We were trying to work out what would be the reason. I think it's because they're planting some specific kind of trees. So in all of them, you can see there's trees. And I imagine that it's for the goats not to eat. Because I know that in Iceland, that's one of the reasons why they don't have big trees anymore. Because the Vikings back in the day cut down all the trees to use the wood. But then when the trees would start growing again, the goats and different animals would eat like the little plants and they'd never be able to turn into trees. So yeah, I've got a feeling that that's the reason. You can see here. This one too, another one of the trees. So this is the last stop on the trip. I was George's beach, St. George's beach. It's in the shade right now, so I'm not gonna bother swimming there. Carol's already in the water though, for the last swim. So this is considered to be the most beautiful beach on the island. You can get a taxi boat here during the day, so then you'll be on the beach in the sun. So that's the best option to come to this beach. wine. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> the boat tour is literally all the way around the island, isn't it? Yeah, the entire island, you see everything. And it's very nice the entire day, but uh, we got lucky with the weather, so that's, that was good. We were afraid we wouldn't be, uh, be able to get a sunny day, but it was very good. Yeah, it was sunny the whole time, pretty much. Back at the harbour now, it's looking extra beautiful with the sun hidden. Super sunny still, still like beach weather even at 5pm. Doesn't look like it's 5pm right now. And tomorrow we're actually gonna be leaving Greece, but we're gonna make one more video here on our way out going over the price. Also gonna mention our overall cost of being a month here 
yeah, and just discuss all the prices of things like the accommodations, food, activities like we did today, entrance fees, all sorts. So that'll be the next video. If you like this one, just drop a like as usual to support us. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll see you in the next one.